Follow me on twitch.tv Okami Riku for live streams and the PAX Hunt on both Twitter and Instagram. Alright guys, so while playing a game, we are going to discuss recent events and what we as the pack are going to do. So as many of you know, through the Discord and on Twitter, um, Silpor's mom passed away on the 31st. Uh, everybody in the family took a week off. And we spent a week with his father, um, helping him get everything straightened out. Silport and I are back home, so we can, unfortunately, we can delay our stay away from, uh, stuff as long as his sister could, but what this means is, is that this week, I'm going to be formulating and catching up on things, because I've been away for a week. Um, next week, I want to try to get us back to the routine that I had originally planned for the year, which is the um, Xbox Game Pass Mondays, the PlayStation Now Thursdays, and then any streams in between. Now, another, and then of course, YouTube videos. Um, trying to keep up on the YouTube videos. Um, now, there is a key component to this. I just received an email today from an op operations manager for a different streaming site. Um, they're new, they're still trying to get up on their feet, they're in beta testing, uh, and I have decided to take their offer to join and you don't have to receive an email from them to join which means if you guys want to go there and support um, us over on Trovo you can you can create an account as a viewer and be fine but I'm going to give it a shot because we have been on the fence about changing our streaming service and this is a great opportunity to just you know check things out and see how things go. Um, I know normally you shouldn't make major decisions, especially during this time, but we're going to do it. Um, but I will also be honest with you guys that uh, dealing with the loss of Sil's mother might hinder streams. And I only say this because I can't 100% guarantee where my mind is going to be at on a particular day. And for me, this is not the first time I've been through this. Um, for Silpor, he hasn't... Um, we open packs, Pokemon card packs, together on, and do YouTube videos. Um, we might even do a live stream one, one of these days, but he hasn't streamed uh, lately because he's trying to get a life-work balance going. So it's only me making the content right now. But this is technically my third mother-in-law I have lost. And my brain sometimes handles it very well. And then there's times where my brain doesn't handle it very well. So, even though I'm going to try to get back on track to what we said we were going to do come the new year, um, we might be off kilter for a little while as we process and, um, you know, go through the grieving process. Grieving process is very long. Um, process. I've been through the grieving process five times in my life, but um, it's never the same. It's always dependent on the person that we're dealing with, and I really cared for Sil's mom. Um, even though we, even though Sil and I aren't married, I still call her my mother-in-law. She took me in 
um, as one of her kids, and she sees me as uh, her son's, you know, life partner, uh, whether we get married or not, and just be patient with us. We're not going anywhere. We're still going to be here, um, but the process of this grieving might take some time, and it might prevent me from streaming sometimes. It might make it to where maybe we don't focus on um, Xbox or PlayStation-based games. Maybe we just play games that I'm in the mood for which might be the better route to go right now. Um, I actually think that's the better route to go. It's just... So, I can't... I can't promise a schedule right now based on my feelings. I can't promise uh, what we'll be playing. But if you join the Discord, if you follow the Twitter, if you follow the Instagram... Shortly, we are going to have a website link. If you follow all of that, you should be able to keep up to date on what my plans are. And that's the best I can do for you guys right now. Is just when I know I can do something or when something is actually planned, I will post it and then we'll go from there. Um... Aside from that, uh, like I said, we'll be trying to make YouTube videos on top of the streaming and stuff, but this was a big hit for the family, and we'll just need some time sometimes. Grief doesn't resolve in a day, it doesn't resolve in a week, it doesn't resolve in a month. Uh, grief takes time. So, if I miss a scheduled day, it's not intentional. Anytime I miss a scheduled day, it's not intentional. Also, that brings me to the next point. Um, I've had an allergic reaction to one of my meds. It is one of the meds I rely on on a daily basis to function, and that's my pain medication. So with, until I can get in, see pain management, and possibly get on a new pain medication, um, that will also possibly hinder me doing streams and stuff. Because when I'm in a lot of pain, I can't give you guys the positive attitude that you deserve. I mean, even in this video, I'm I'm not positive, um, and it's mostly because I'm thinking about Sil's mom, and it's making me want to cry. But we left in a hurry. Things happened fast. Um, she literally went downhill so fast. I really didn't have time to let you guys know when I try to keep you in the loop. I did the best I could with Twitter and Discord and um, I didn't post anything on Instagram. But um, everyone thought we had longer. But it happened. She fought hard, and the third thing I wanted to uh, put in this video, since it's focused around this, is that um, Syl's mom wrote her own obituary, and in it, she asked anybody who read it, or anybody that we shared it with, um, and I won't give you guys the direct link to the obituary because um, it's on Facebook and it's got personal stuff. But this is something I want you guys to think about. If you, if you watch this video, if 
you follow through is that she was battling leukemia. She battled hard. She fought for over a year with leukemia. Unfortunately, she had a bone marrow transplant and her body rejected it. And that basically made her condition spiral. Now, she didn't realize until she got leukemia that so many people's lives rely on plasma and um, blood and all the stuff that you can donate. So her wishes were that if anybody wanted to honor her memory was to donate uh, blood, plasma, platelets, um, or to any uh, charity foundation of their choice. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this to you guys is that I don't qualify to give any blood platelets or any of that. I don't qualify for that because I had cancer um, in 2017. So unfortunately, I can't honor her wishes in that department. And it is a huge need. That blood kept her going for so long. It helped her battle hard and fight. And there's a lot of people who need it. So even though you don't know her and some of you might be new and don't know me, if you can donate blood, plasma, or platelets, I just ask that you do it. And if so, just do it in the memory of a wonderful woman named Terry, who fought very hard against a disease that affects so many people, both children's and adult children and adults, and to help others. I haven't done a charity drive in a while, but I might plan one out with Silpor, and maybe in a few months. It might be more than a few months because I won't do a charity drive right now until everybody's in a better state. But I'm thinking about doing a charity drive for St. Jude's again, as well as possibly for another charity that helps people with um, leukemia and other... Uh, blood disorders and cancers um, in memory of Terry. Sorry for getting emotional. I am don't mean for it to be emotional, but this is where we're at. Is that to sum it up, we're in a grieving process. Uh, things are changing, things are variable. Just keep an eye on all of the social media to make sure you know what's going on what I'm having a good day and if you want to help honor a wonderful woman's life and if you can help someone else's life help them possibly win their battle because one bag of blood one bag of plasma one bag of Platelets can literally mean life or death for people who are battling leukemia or any other blood-related disorder. This is where I should probably end it, because um, I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but just know that we didn't you know, disappear out of nowhere for no reason. Um, there was a reason for it. And I'm hoping to give back to other people who need it at some point. We'll keep you in the loop for that too. When we do a charity event. It won't be for a while though. Um, Silpor still needs to grieve. 
I still need to grieve, obviously. Um, other than that, I hope you guys stay happy, healthy, and wholesome. And I will see you guys on our next YouTube video and our next streams, which those all should be picking up next week. Until then, please stay safe. Until next time, my lovely pups. Thank <laughs> you.